Now, of course, it's time for FOMO. So we are talking at a name that has held steady onto a nice game throughout today's session. That is AMD, which is I will say, well, it hasn't been the NVIDIA of the last year. It has been definitely one of the AI players to watch here to discuss more on this. This is Caroline Woods, Senior Markets Correspondent for the network. So, Caroline, walk us through some of the things that have led to consistency, at least, in AMD shares today. I know we're a bit off session highs, but still up about 2%. Hey there, Jenny. Yeah, seeing an impressive gain today. There's news that in, uh, that AMD unveiled a new series of processors for AI-enabled business PCs and desktops. So as you said, coming for NVIDIA. So that could be driving shares higher. But then there's some, also some positive analyst action that's likely giving this boost to shares. So shares are up about 1.5% uh, right now, but it's been a pretty rough month for AMD. Shares down almost 10% in April so far. And one analyst uh, over at HSBC says now is the time to buy the dip. He upgraded shares to buy from hold with a price target of $225, up from his previous target of 180. As you can see here, AMD currently trading around 162.39. So that represents about 40% upside from where it's currently trading. HSBC sees an attractive risk reward at current share levels, says market expectations for the company's MI300 2024 and 2025 revenue have been reset. So the street is looking for, or AMD's own guidance is $3.5 billion in sales for the MI300. HSBC's view is that the company could boost its forecast to above $5 billion. Also says AMD's next generation AI GPU is a more direct competitor to NVIDIA's uh, GB200 in 2025. Thinks AMD has enough supply capacity and demand to surpass management's AI revenue guidance. He actually says that HSBC's base case is that AMD can take 10% of the market for AI GPUs in 2025. He says that would uh, imply AMD's AI revenue for the next year can reach $12.3 billion. That's quite a bit higher than consensus around $9 billion. But then his bull case is that AMD captures at least 15% of the market, and that could it, it mean $18.5 billion of revenue from AI GPUs. So definitely bullish around the AI play there. Also lifted his earnings estimates for the full year of 2024 and 2025. Seems to be giving uh, shares a boost. As you said, off-session highs was up as much as two, a little bit over 2% just a few minutes ago. Now it's only up about 1.2%, but in the green nonetheless and chipping away at some of those monthly losses. But yes, far cry from NVIDIA. Share is only up about 10% year-to-date. Taking a look at NVIDIA, 75% year-to-date gains. So far cry from that. It looks like Jerome Powell's speaking and, and S&Ps are on session lows. So, hey, all of this is fluid as always. Caroline, I was going to make a joke and said, I don't think that we had a downtick in this stock the entire time you were gone. You come back and now this stock's under a little bit of pressure. But would you say that HSBC's view on this space and, and AMD is kind of reflective of the street as a whole uh, from those that you've talked to over the last week or so? Alex, I think that the whole market, I, I'm, I'm questioning if it's me. First quarter was so good, and then I come back and yikes. But uh, in, in terms of this analyst, the HSBC analyst, in terms of the broader uh, analyst community, definitely joining the majority. If you take a look at the breakdown, there are 49 analysts that cover the stock, according to Refinitiv. 38 of them have buy ratings. There are only 11 holes and no uh, sell ratings. That being said, that $225 price target is quite a bit higher than the median price target for AMD. Uh, the median is 195 according to uh, Refinitiv. So that implies only a little bit like what 20% upside from current levels. So this analyst definitely on the bull bullish side when it comes to the price target and, and joining the majority with that rating. Yeah, and Caroline, I mean, I totally agree with you. I know this analyst made the comparison to NVIDIA because they're both in this GPU space, but they're very, very different, at least as of right now. I think AMD hopes it could become the NVIDIA that NVIDIA has become, but yeah, we're still a ways away. I guess we'll have to see how that, that competition is going to fare because right now it seemed like a, a pretty much a one-horse race as far as GPUs have gone. But appreciate the insight, as always, on all things AMD. Great breakdown. Caroline Woods, Senior Markets Correspondent for the network.